I wanted to be a mechanic. I was fishing for a little bit to make some money, but the plans of God were none of that stuff. The plan of God was for me to play baseball. So I left Panama. Picture this, I never left my country. Never been in a plane, never been nowhere else, never, never. Barely spoke Spanish. Forget about English, you know? So when I signed, uh, that's when everything hit. My whole life just, just, it was kind of like a waking and at the same time a, a shock at the same time. I wasn't there when she got the news. I was working, you know, so some friend of mine, uh, his wife was with us. And uh, they invited her to a women's retreat that they have at the church. At that point, we weren't Christian yet. I knew that something was happening in our lives. Something the Lord was trying to cut our attention. We couldn't pinpoint, but we know that something was happening. Well, the Lord healed my son. My son now is playing baseball. I was in Tampa at the time. The preacher uh, uh, made the altar call. I heard like that was for me. Everything that he preached was for me. And I just get up, went to the front, and accept the Lord as my savior. That was just the moment that I said, well, I surrender. I can't, I can't do this thing no more. But that moment was something special. I knew that that's what the Lord was doing all this thing in my life, in our life, my wife and me and my kid. In baseball, everything wasn't just shine and, and roses and laugh. They were tears. They were sacrifice, you know? But at the end, the Lord gave me the greatest platform that no man can give me. Because that greater platform is about his mercy and love and kind. You know, and he equip you with what you need to be successful. The problem is that we men want to have the success without going through the process. We need to go through that fire. But when we come out of that fire, we're stronger than when we went into the fire.